What is up, my peeps? It has been a minute, but your boy is back, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna make some videos. Another video, right now. Now it seems from this poll that I made, I don't know, like a week ago or so ago, about like a lot of you guys voted on it. You guys wanted to see some more top five videos. God, I don't know why. I'm not good at doing these, but <laughs> you gotta give what the people want. So we're gonna be doing another one. This one on the top five raddest reptiles. Yes, of course I made the top five coolest reptiles, God knows how long when. Um, it was it was not a good video, the, the quality is not where it is at, especially today. However, we'll make another one, except this one will be in good quality. So, there you go. Buckle up your seatbelts and to enjoy the ride. We're gonna talk about cool reptiles, and we're gonna roll the intro. And kicking off this list, we are going to be going over number one, the Argus Monitor. The Argus Monitor had to make this list for one reason and one reason only. That. That right there. Yes, the Argus Monitor is, to my knowledge, I might be wrong on this, the only monitor that actually like, frequently will stand up on its hind legs. Of course, I could be wrong. Please, please keyboard warriors, please don't ridicule me. I've made mistakes in the past and I have been punished for it. But I believe the Argus Monitor is one of the only monitors out there that actually will frequently stand up on, the, on its hind legs. It's super cool to see, especially at a monitor even at this size, which is about uh, two and a half, three feet-ish. Uh, I'm really excited to see when the monitor is around five to five and a half feet, especially with my male, like a big old male standing on its hind legs. Uh, that's definitely gonna be something that is very rad. Not only that, the Argus monitor's just like, I guess feeding response you would say is it's really cool. I mean, they're literally, they're nicknamed the Velociraptors of the monitor world and they hold that title for a reason. It is exhilarating and intimidating at the same time when you're feeding your Argus monitors because at a blink of an eye, they are shooting over to get food. Just the way that they look, it's it's just, it's an experience all of its own. It's definitely one that I recommend experiencing either by owning one or by having a friend show you how they feed theirs because it is definitely a fun time. But then moving on to this list, let's get into it. Number four, red-eyed crocodile skinks. And now I know most of you saw that coming a mile away. I mean, you gotta put the crocodile skinks on the rad list. Look at them, man. This is a mini dragon. Literally a little piece of dinosaur that you can keep in your home. And I think that's really cool. Except for the fact that they are wicked sensitive. And also the fact that they hide most of the time. And also the fact that they hate being seen by you. And also the fact that they will just scurry away and really are just not a great pet in general. But other than that, they are amazing. <laughs> The Crocodile Skink made this list on rad reptiles because of two main things. Of course, that spiky, spiky back, spiky, spiky back, and also that beautiful red ring around the eye. All in all, when you just take a look at the uh, red-eyed Crocodile Skink, you think to yourself, man, that is a rad reptile. Then getting down on this list, let's go over it. Number three. Well, number three is actually the fact that you guys have been here for a couple minutes now, and really, if you are enjoying the content, I highly recommend just going down there and hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button for me, and really just supporting the channel. It would really help us out. That is going to be number three for today. I'm just kidding. Number three, the Emerald Tree Boa. No, man, there's just something pretty rad about an animal with a skull that looks like this. I mean, Dang, that is a rad looking skull. Uh, there are a lot of things that are really cool about the Emerald Tree Boa. The way they perch on branches, of course them being an arboreal stake in of itself, um, they're just, I'd, I'd probably put them at at least the top five of the most beautiful snakes. I think I did, I think I made a video like that and I think I did put them in that list. So yeah, Emerald Tree Boas, I mean, just a gorgeous animal. They got big old teeth and they perch and they look like this little blob thing when they perch and I think that's really rad and so I put them on the list. Next topic. And then, getting down on this list, the top five raddest reptiles. We are gonna dive into it. It's the reptile. They kinda look like dinosaurs. They do... 
this thing, number two. <laughs> Is this what I do now? Is this like, is this just what I do for money? Just make myself look like a jackass? <sighs> Number two, the Frill Dragon. Now, Frill Dragons are just a super duper rad reptile, my guy. I mean, anything that does this thing, I, look, <laughs> you can't, you can't deny. It. That is incredible. The Frill Dragon make this, this low or this high. Did I start with number five or start with number one? I don't remember. They made it to the end of the list because I think the whole dinosaur thing is cool. It's definitely iconic, man. I mean, of course, Jurassic Park is the first thing you're gonna think about uh, when you're thinking about, you know, what that looks like. Uh, pretty much, I, I think that's the only characteristics they kinda have. I mean, they're a pretty big lizard too, but the frilled thing, that takes the cake. That's what puts them on this list. Now let's get into number one. And then, Getting down on our list, what will be the number one option? Will it be Komodo Dragon, a Cuban Crocodile, House Gecko? No, no, it'll be something far better, boys and girls, far, far better, because number one on this list is gonna be me. I'm a reptilian overlord. Bum, bum, it is true, I am one of the many reptilian overlords, a part of the Illuminati. Yes, it is very true, the facts that I am stating right now. But I want to assure you, all of my subscribers, you are safe for the overtaking that we are about to commit on this universe. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I, 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 I highly recommend subscribing now. Because for those you aren't, I, we can't guarantee it, man. You know, the subscribers are safe, but you guys, you just can't get guarantee it. Oh. And for the two people, yeah, yeah, the two people that dislike every one of my videos, we know it won't be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, there you have it. We got the top five raddest reptiles, except I only said four, and then made myself look like a dummy for one of them. That for the, hopefully for you guys to laugh and not for me to just look stupid. Um, as always, huge shout out to Zen Habitat. Zen Habitat, amazing enclosures. Wow, look at that, they're really cool. Any one of those reptiles would be good for a uh, Zen Habitat enclosure. If you wanna buy yours today, I would highly recommend going down there in the description where you also find my Facebook, Instagram, uh, merch. I've been doing this too many times, man. You guys, you guys gotta know the drill by now. For, if you're new, just head down to the description. There's a bunch of awesome stuff. Patreon. You guys get cool stuff for Patreon, man. It has been, it's been a hell of a year. It's been a hell of a week and it has been a hell of a day. And I am just, we'll save that for next time, folks. We'll see you later. Let's roll the outro.